but what would you say your biggest takeaway was for marriage boot camp? Um, one thing I was really proud of myself for finishing this program because so many days I wanted to pack up and walk out the house, like, forget this. I don't need it. Like I'm not here, you know, to be ridiculed, judged, or, you know, told what to do. Like I'm some kid. So for me personally, finishing was like, it was just, it was everything. It's everything that I needed for myself to just know that I could get through something. When I was on Love and Hip Hop, I'd barely make the reunions because I'd be over it, you know, halfway through the season. Like, I'm out. Y'all ain't catching me. I'm not doing this. Like, just too turned up for my own good. So finishing was like a big thing in addition to just learning how to be in a relationship. We learned how to fight with each other. We learned how to like not take each other's head off. And yeah, have boundaries things. and not go too far with say things we won't regret um uh what else learning how to say things like uh mental abuse is is really what we're not we don't do that yeah just hurting each other um trusting like you know that's big yeah it was it's very hard to trust it's very hard to trust relationship you just know it's very hard to trust people's intentions and you know he was proving himself to me the whole time and it was like I, but I needed it. I needed him to go through these, jump through these hula hoops for me for once because I've given myself away, my cloud away. I've given my platform away. I've let people come in who didn't deserve it and just kind of um, socially climb off of me. And I just didn't want that again. And, and going through boot camp help us, helped us for real in real life get to the point that we are now. Like we have a whole daughter together. I have a whole ring on my finger. Like I don't know if I would have got that if we didn't do boot camp. He still might be checking for chicks flying in his DMs, and then where will we be? <laughs> none of that, none of that happening anymore. Now he's just, nah, you know, he's got his two ladies nah. at home, and that's what he's sticking yeah, with. Yeah, more things, better things to worry about than. Exactly. I mean, that's what I love about the show because you really learn, you know, the important thing about a couple is sort of how you fight together. You know, that's kind of just as important as getting along. And that's really what I like about it. But I also really like the other couples sort of interacting with each other. Devon, which couple would you say you both were the closest with in the house and got along with the best? Um, Well, I can't say that because my (laughs) wife only messed with one girl in the house, so Anastasia. So that's how. So I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really, I didn't really uh, do too well with the other females. I was gonna say about my Duvado, um, and then Crub. I don't Crub was my homies. Like I, I got a real good relationship with them. I look at them like brothers, you know. They, they yeah, it was boys. individuals that we liked in the yeah, house. Yeah. Not every, nobody else was out. Everybody else was out. Yeah, <laughs> oh I yeah. Mean, but- it was certainly very interesting. You know, there were many unfamiliar faces in the house this time around, but there were very familiar faces as well. Namely Shonda, I'm talking about here, Hazel. And I and I heard things get a little a little heated between the two of you. Did you, you know, did the boot camp house maybe help you guys resolve any of these issues as well? Or is it just as contentious from the start to finish? No, now we can at least follow each other and be nice to each other on Instagram. So boot camp did help us get to this point because for years is I didn't see it for her. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I didn't see it for her. I let her know I didn't see it for her as soon as she walked in the house. Like, and why are you here? Why did you come to my house? And what purpose do you <laughs> serve? And let me go ahead and check you for how you be acting online. Cause I really don't <laughs> appreciate all of your situations. Like I was keeping it a buck. I was keeping it 100 from the moment I got in the house to the day, you know, to the day I left the house. Um, and that was a couple that we just had, it was just tension from the moment they got there. Me and Willie used to be really good friends. Like we used to work together in my PR days, make money together. They wanted to get on Love and Hip Hop. I put in the word for them. So when, you know, the things that happened with me and Shonda online had to come head to head in the house, it was just tension. And then as y'all see in the trailer, it was tension between him and Willie and yeah, because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a defender. Like I don't play one because of my family. Like I, I'm I'm just a different type of breed. Like so, right. if I see somebody interacting with my my wife, okay, so what am I gonna do? I'm sizing the dude up because I'm already knowing I'm gonna end up busting your stuff open because <laughs> you're gonna say something and it's gonna go the way it goes. Right, but you know, you know we've 
Vince, we've pulled our tempers and we've oh, been yeah. able to make a mess. Like I said, God's working on me, all right? <laughs> Every day, all right? Everyone's a work in progress. Everyone's a work in progress. No exactly. One's We're growing. Exactly. We're growing. Exactly. You know, speaking of yeah. Love and Hip Hop, Hazel, I have to ask, you know, with Love and Hip Hop sort of switching production companies from Big Fish to in-house production, will we be seeing you back on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood? Well, it was crazy because I actually... They actually asked for me to come back this last season and then the pandemic hit. So it was like, you know, what are we, what are we doing? And then, you know, then they switch production again. So things are on hold with there, but I have um, more opportunities with Lee TV. You know, they love me over there. They feel like, you know, that maybe it's their network. Yeah. <laughs> so in the meantime, in between time, I'll be a Lee TV girl until VH1 get their uh, life together. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, and, it's kind of weird because everything is so socially distanced right now. So I don't know how we would even do a socially distanced love and hip hop. Like, what are Nobody we going to do? I'm going to be checking chicks through FaceTime. Like, whoop, yeah, no. whoop, 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 whoop. like, I just don't see it being like the same dynamic until we get through this, you know, COVID era. Yeah, fair enough. You need kind of physical interaction for that show to really uh, <laughs> you know, pick up and the drama to be there. You know, before I let you go, Devon, I'm putting you on the spot here, buddy. What's the update on the wedding? When is it supposed to happen? Where is it happening? And am I invited? You can be invited, but I, I can't really tell too, too, too much because there's, you know, right now with the pandemic going on, things are just kind of like, you, yeah. you know, you don't really know what we're going to do. We have things, we talked about it, you know, we kind of shooting for like probably around like October. Yeah, like we yeah. wanted to go like a year from like our engagement date. So that was like our goals. Um, we wanted it to be in LA, but we just, we don't know. Like the I really want to really wanted to be like on a beach, like something really exclusive, yeah. nice like that. Like I even might just have her fly in on a helicopter, land right there and walk the shit. I might do it like that. Like she's worth it. Like I'll do it. I don't care, you know? And I got to get this body snap back. So, you know, we got, we got things to we do. Got, we got things. Hey, Hazel, you look good. You look good. I just can't wait for my helicopter invite. That's all I'm saying. Helicopter <laughs> I am there. Hazel, <laughs> right. thank you so much for stopping by. You two are amazing, and congratulations on your baby daughter. She's amazing. Thank, thank you so much. You. Have a blessed day. You as well. People, don't forget to catch the premiere of Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition tonight at 9, 8 central on WeTV. It is a doozy.